We're now going to talk about integration over more general regions in polar coordinates. So let's consider the analog in polar coordinates of what we were calling a type 1 region. So this will be a region D, which consists of the set of points whose polar coordinates are r and theta, where theta goes between two constants alpha and beta, while r is between two functions of theta. Let's call these h1 of theta and h2 of theta. So the picture of this So here's the line where theta equals alpha. Here's the line where theta equals beta. And then we're going to have two curves of varying radius. So this outer curve is r equals h2 of theta. This inner curve is r equals h1 of theta. And this region in the middle is our region d. So by analogy with what we did in Cartesian coordinates, the double integral over d of a function f with respect to area is the integral as theta goes from alpha to beta, and then r goes from h1 of theta to h2 of theta, and then f of r theta, and then the usual magnification factor r times dr d theta. So let's do an example. So let's calculate the double integral over d of x squared plus y squared dA, where d is as follows. So I take the curve r equals theta like this until it hits the x-axis again. And then I take the curve r equals 2 theta like this. So this is this region in between these two curves and this little piece of the x-axis is our region. So this is d. This um, outer curve is r equals 2 theta. And the inner curve is r equals theta. So this is an example of one of these regions where here alpha equals 0 and beta equals 2 pi because we're just going once around from 0 to 2 pi and h1 of theta equals theta and h2 of theta equals 2 theta. So let's work out this integral on the next page. So we have that the double integral over d of x squared plus y squared dA is the integral as theta goes from 0 to 2 pi and r goes from theta to 2 theta and then the function we want to integrate is r squared and then we have to multiply by an additional r which is the magnification factor then dr d theta. So this is pretty easy to evaluate so the r integral, the integral of r cubed, is r to the fourth over 4, evaluated at r equals 2 theta and r equals theta, So this, and then d theta. So this is the integral from 0 to 2 pi of 2 theta to the 4 over 4 minus theta to the 4 over 4 d theta. So we can simplify this a little bit to 15 over 4 times theta to the 4 d theta. So now we have to integrate this over theta. And the integral of theta to the fourth is 1 over theta to the fifth. So I have 3 fourths theta to the fifth evaluated at theta equals 2 pi and theta equals 0. So I just get 3 fourths times 2 pi to the fifth, which we can simplify a little bit to 24 times pi to the fifth. 